Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. It's me, B from Mama is Busy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just tell you all this. How about I started off just doing like a reel? I was going to do a reel because I was in my feelings, you know, thinking about all of the loss that we experienced. And would you know, I mean, I cannot believe I did this. Instead of me shooting or recording it the proper way, I left it that way <laughs> i left the phone this way the way it is now instead of doing it this way so bear with me you don't have to look at it but listen to it it's really really good content all right jump back in and if you are new here go on and hit that like and subscribe trust me you're going to like it here it's all thing and all things encouragement all things you can do it <laughs> all things about how to be an entrepreneur, a wife, a mom, and just get it done. Okay, so today I wanted to, I was going to make a short out of this, but I just feel like I need to go on and make a whole video about this. Okay, some of you know last year I lost my mom. Um, and at the time I lost, we she died we actually thought that she was gonna make it through see let me just say this my mom beat death like 10 times so we just thought it's another scare um she died of copd and we just thought this is another flare-up she's gonna be fine and um <clears throat> that wasn't the case so we did all the things we normally did. We came together as a family, came together as a church family. Are you letting me go? Okay. Take, so we came together as a church family and we prayed and we prayed and we believed God. Of course, we believed God um, for her healing. And of course, music, my family is, we love music. Okay, so we listen to um, to keep my mind right and not in a state of despair. Of course, I listen to a lot of music, listen to preaching, teaching, just to keep my mind on, you know, positive. So she, you know, was sick for a while and she went from hospital to hospital and of course we created an awesome plan we knew that everything was going to work out and against um we ended up she ended up going to a nursing home and which she really did not want to go and that in that transition from the hospital to the nursing home she got really sick and I mean, it's like 30 minutes away, if that. But for some odd reason, she did not get the oxygen she was supposed to get, which caused her to, um, so many things just happened. So I'm telling you all of this because when we took her to the hospital and they began to talk about, talking to us about what was next, we were in denial. We did not believe that she was gonna die. And my mind went to, I'm not all right. I'm, I'm not all right, but then I'm standing in faith and I'm believing God, she's gonna be all right, she's gonna be all right, I'm gonna be all right, we're gonna be all right. So this morning I went to take my son to um, summer school. Why am I taking this boy to summer school? That's a whole nother situation. But anyway, um, I went to take him to sun, summer school and as I, came out the door somebody rode by playing a song that I played while I would travel back and forth to the hospital um, or to her apartment back and forth and it was Ty Tribbett's We're Gonna Be Alright and the song ministered when I tell you ministered the song ministered to me because 
I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. Even when I would go into her, her hospital room, I would play it. I'm gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. And then when the, I forget the name of the department, but they're the department that, um, look, something like hospice, but they're in a hospital. I forgot, forget what you call it. But they came in and they're telling us, you know, what do you want to do? And you know, they encouraged my mom to sign a DNR which I was very upset about. Um, and then I, at first she was like, no, she doesn't want to, no, she doesn't want to, no. She, but her, she has started to decline. And I noticed it. Our family noticed that it was rapidly. She had started to decline. And one day I walked in and sure enough, she had the DNR around her. I lost it. Um, but a very wise person spoke to me and said, that she might be tired. Her husband had died, and you all know the story. If you don't go back a couple of months, and you'll hear it, because <laughs> I, you know, I'm pretty sure I spoke about it a lot. But her husband died. She was, she felt alone. So it just rapidly she died, and when she died, that song <laughs> ministered to me because. When you think about when you're going through trials and tribulations, you feel alone. You feel like nobody knows what you're going through, especially if it's something that you really can't talk about. Um, you don't you don't want to share it with other people, so you feel alone. But I wanted to encourage someone that you're never alone, that God is with you. Even when you don't see him, he's with you. You think about the story of the um, three Hebrew boys, you know, they were in a fiery furnace. They stood with their, in their faith when the king was telling them to bow down and they were like, we shall have no other God before us. We will not bow. And they wanted, the king wanted them to do when he came, when the king came into their presence, he had a certain thing that he wanted them to do. And they were like, no, sir, we are not going to do that. So I wanted to say when the king had his men put them in the fiery furnace and they turned that furnace up higher than normal to kill them, the heat was so bad that it burned them. You see what I'm saying? But they put them in that furnace. So sometimes we're gonna be in the furnace. Sometimes we are going to have to face those hard times in our lives, but it's okay. Cause we are never alone. Uh, the title of this song is, uh, We're Gonna Be Alright, Ty Tribbett. I'm telling you, that song ministered to me. This morning when I was listening to it, because of course the, the young lady rode by playing in her car, so I had to get my car and play because I just felt that thing. But then it just took me back to the moments listening to it, and I'm feeling a little misty-eyed now, listening to it and thinking about my mom. And thinking about how hard it was at that time my husband had just lost his sister. Six days later, I lose my mom. And I'm just saying, we're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. So I know that I'm not the only one who has gone through so much. I know I'm not, okay? So there may be some of you out there that are going through some things. And I just want to encourage you, you're gonna be all right believe God for this hard times when the three Hebrew boys were in the furnace they looked and there was a fourth one and someone said and it looks like the son of man the son of God so he's with you you may not see him heck you may not even feel him but just ask him Lord touch me remind me that you're here remind me that you'll never leave nor forsake me and he'll do just that God wants to be in it with you. He wants to be in it with you. 
I hope you believe that. And I'm gonna get off because, whoo. So this is a call to action. Call to action. If you <laughs> enjoyed this video, please hit a like. And if you would like to see more, hit a subscribe, subscribe to the video. And I just wanted to say, if there's some things you want to talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's chat it up. Um, if any of you have, or is going through some hard times, leave a comment below, share with us, with our community, um, how are you making it through? How, how are you maintaining without checking out, without losing it. Share with us, all right? I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for checking in. Y'all have a blessed day. God bless you.